Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Anna. Today I'm gonna do my fourth update in my project pen for this year. This is a project that was inspired by Jax Lorraine here on YouTube and I will link her channel down below. And there are 11 categories. So I have 11 products and I've finished a couple of them. So I'm gonna introduce a couple of new products into this project today, which is exciting, of course. And um, yeah, I guess we'll just get right into it. Um, I have some products and I have uh, several things to talk about. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be a lot of fun for me. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. That was all I was going to say. Now on to the products. So the first one was the old or near expiration product. And for that one, I had the Isadora cover-up longwear cushion concealer, which is finally gone. Um, I've been clicking and clicking and nothing else comes out of it. So finally... I can remove this one from my drawers. This was pretty old. It goes straight into the empty spin. And I'm just gonna talk about the products that I'm replacing it with immediately. Um, and just so I've mentioned it, I used that one like five, six times before it was gone. So I didn't have a lot of product left in it. And then um, I'm replacing it with my MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder in the shade Light Plus, which I don't have a lot left in. So I think I'll be able to finish this within maybe a month, maybe two. So at least before the year is done, I should be able to finish this. So this is kind of, it's pretty easy to track because I can kind of see how big it is right now. And then I can see how much bigger the pen is next month. So that's the old or near expiration. I don't think, I mean, powder products, doesn't really expire that quickly, but it's definitely kind of old and I have some other powders that I want to start working on. So it would be nice to just get that out of the way and put it in my back to Mac bag. Then for my challenge product, I chose an, a different Mac uh, powder and it's the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light. And there is actually a little bit left like a little bit in the lid here, but it is empty. This is what a um, mineralized skin finish looks like when it's done. I knew that before because I've finished one or two, maybe even, um, previously, but it has just a tiny bit of powder in this, like up here, but I'm not even gonna bother. I've been powdering today and this is kind of this is as empty as I can get it. Uh, the last couple of times I've really struggled to get my brush in and get any product on my brush. So I've been using a smaller brush to kind of powder like more exactly where I want the powder. Uh, because that was the only way I could actually get it into the right spots in the powder. So that one is also finally done going in the back to Mac bag that I have. And um, I am going to replace that one. Oh, I can tell you how many times I used it before it was done. I used it, um, where is it, 19 times. And so it took me 19 more times to use it um, until it was completely done. Maybe 20, actually. I might have forgot to count a couple of times. So around 20. Uh, and the product that I'm replacing it with is another MAC product, and it's a lip pencil. So this is uh, the lip pencil called Rosy Rim. And I have a little paper here. So I've just marked it, and yeah, it's not really super interesting. But, well, it'll be interesting to see how far I can get in a month, because I tend to forget to use lip liners. So I just really need to focus on this one um, because it's getting smaller and it would be kind of nice to just be able to finish a lip liner. Uh, the only ones I've... I might only have finished one previously and that was uh, one that you kind of roll up. So I felt like that was easier because I didn't have a lot of product in that. But the MAC lip pencils, they have a lot of product. They're really long when you buy them and then now it's kind of just a small little... 
little thing left. And I've actually tried to finish this before and I gave up. And this time I have to actually do it. I hope I can do it by the end of the year, but we'll see. So that's the um, challenge product. And then for Walk the Plank, uh, I actually thought I was done with this, but I'm not. There's still some product left in here. It's the Glossier Boy Brow, and I used it 18 times. Um, and I thought it must be done, but I can actually get some product out if I just really wiggle it in here and get some product on the brush. There's definitely product on it, but it's getting drier and drier. And for a while, I thought every time I used it, I was like, there's no product on this. But I have to admit, there is actually some product left. So I'm not going to remove that from the project yet, but I'm pretty sure with like 18 more uses, it will be done. So that's my Walk the Plank, which is still, I have to admit, a category that I don't really understand. Am I like... English is not my first language, I'm just gonna... It's probably because of that. And then, for my Love It, I chose Fenty Beauty... What is it called? Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the color Butter. And I have two lines here. Uh, so the first one is last month, and this is now. I've used this one so many times. I've used it 22 times. And this is all I get. Those two lines could be the same one. They're so close. But yeah, that's how little powder I use under my eyes. So that one will take a lot longer than I thought it would because I thought, oh, it's a mini powder. It should be fine. It should be kind of quick. But no, I was wrong. Which is kind of annoying, to be honest. For my don't love it category, I chose my Smashbox. Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer, which is just this mini size. It's 12 mils of product, which is 0.41 floor ounces. And the first uh, from the update two months ago until a month ago, I didn't use it at all, almost. But this month, I actually used it quite a bit. And I know that I could have used this so much more. Uh, I've used it only 15 times. So I should have been able to use it at least 20 something but I kind of forget about it. So I need to use this one more if I'm going to be able to finish this one by the end of the year. But I think I can do it if I just focus on it because I've just been bad at that. I kind of just, I forget about it a little bit. But that one will be in the project and I will probably use the next two months to entirely finish it. But I think I can do it by the end of the year. Fingers crossed. For the fits the season category, I chose my Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions and I chose two eyeshadows for some weird reason. I have no idea why I did that because I'm, that is going to be a struggle. But I'm going to use these eyeshadows as much as I can for um, November and December and we'll see. So the first one is this number two, like shade number two, and I only use this two times. And then the other shade is this one, and I used this one four times this month, which is not enough to show big progress, but you can definitely see the dip in this one. So I think I will be able to hit, hit pan on this one sometime soon, but the shade number two will take a while. But it's a light shade, so I should be able to finish it if I just remember to put it on. And today I'm actually wearing this one on my lid. And it's, I like wearing pink eyeshadow, so I should be able to do it if I just really focus. And I also have some of my matte shades in my seven pants in seven months that I'm struggling with. So if I use one of those and then one of these on my lid pretty consistently, I should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. And then also for something else that's pink, kind of, uh, is the... Forgotten or Neglected product, uh, and that for that one I chose my Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam, which is one of my favorite blushes. Can I... is that too bold of a statement? I'm not sure. I do really like this one, and um, the color is just absolutely perfect, but I tend to forget 
to use cream blush. So I used this one 12 times this month and using it 12 times took me from this line down here. So there's definitely a lot of product left in here and I think this will take me more than two months to finish. So I won't be able to finish it by the end of the year, but at least I, I'll get pretty far. And this is getting close to its expiration date. It's probably expired now, actually. It is, if you follow the six month rule. I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer, but I might declutter it by the end of the year, even though I haven't finished it just because I don't wanna put cream products that are old on my cheeks and six month expiration, that's short. I'm not sure if I am, if I wanna follow that. No, I don't, but I'm, I'm not gonna keep it for like three years. That's what I'm trying to say, okay. Moving on. For my easy or almost done, I failed completely. This was not an easy product and I have no idea why I chose it because I usually get through um, brow products quite easily. But this one is an exception to that rule and it's the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Definer in Soft Brown. So there's still some product left. Let me show you on my piece of paper. I have it right here. So yeah, it's that, if we can just remove my face here, it's that line right there. Um, yeah. Maybe I can finish it in a month. I used this one 23 times, so if I use it maybe like 25 more times, something like that, I think it should be done. So I'm not giving up. I hope I can finish this by my next update, but we will see. It's the brow product that never ends. If if you want to buy a brow product that lasts longer like than the Brow Wiz or those types of products, that's a good one. It lasts quite a while. We're on to product number nine, which is my brand or product we no longer purchase. And I chose to go with a product that I wouldn't repurchase because it's just expensive and it doesn't do much for me. And it's the Giorgio Armani A Contour in the lightest shade, shade 20. So I removed the stopper out of this one and I used it only 12 times. I should have used it a lot more. Um, and there is still product in here. So this will last me another month, but I can definitely tell. I haven't seen inside of this one yet, but I can definitely tell that I'm like at least down to like this bottom. There's some product in the bottom and there's always some product on my little wand thing, but there's not a lot of product left in here. So if I just remember to use it, like all of these other things, I will definitely be able to finish that one in a month. I feel like I said that last month as well, but definitely the next month, 100%, I'm, I'm positive. Product number 10 is a limited edition or no longer produced product. And for that one, I chose my MAC Huggable lip color in the shade Bonsai Blue, which is pretty much the perfect, like my lips, but better shade. It is really, really nice. Um, and on my piece of paper here you can see that I went from that line in September down to here so there's not that much product left and if I for, if I remember to use this one more than once a day the days that I use it and if I like really focus on it I think I might be able to actually finish this one before my next update or at least I will be done with it by the end of the year I use this one 22 times and this is the type of lipstick that you can reapply several times throughout the day. It's like a really nourishing, like soft lipstick. Um, so if I just apply it three times a day for several days in a month, that should be possible. Yeah, we'll see about that one. I'm gonna try and I can use the Rosy Rim uh, lip liner and get, get a more pink color because now it's kind of really sheer and natural but I am going to be working at a 
elementary school for November, so a soft lipstick like this is pretty nice. I can apply it a couple times throughout the day and it doesn't look like I have a crazy amount of lipstick on. So I think maybe that will be possible. We'll see. I'm excited to continue using that one. It's old, so I really want to finish it now. Um, there's a lot of MAC products in this project. I'm just realizing. My 11th product, which is the Wild Card. Uh, I chose something that I just want to hit pan on, and it's the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. Mine looks like this, so I am not finished. Well, I'm not supposed to finish it. I haven't hit pan on it yet, but I am getting close, I feel like. It's definitely getting kind of thin. Um... And I, I use it kind of all over. I use a big brush and I just swirl it around. So it's kind of thin all over. But I can definitely see that in this area, like almost in the middle, but slightly further down. There's definitely a little bit of a dip as well. So that's probably where I'll hit pan sometime soon. Maybe within the next month. I'm not really sure how deep the pan is. So that will be interesting to see if I can do it or not. I'm not sure. I'm excited about that one as well. I'm kind of excited about all of these products. I do not really like all of these, most of these. Maybe except this one. That's just, just kind of okay. So uh, I'm happy to continue using them and I'm happy to get stuff used up, which is the focus and the goal of project panning. And I don't really have anything else to tell you guys other than have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. And um, there will be a birthday get ready with me coming up. That will be my next video because my birthday is tomorrow. And I'm really excited. I love birthdays. So that will be up next. So I hope you'll watch that one when it enters the world. That was a weird thing to say. Okay. I'm going to go now. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.